watching CBC News Network. We begin with the latest on global efforts to tackle climate change. World leaders are meeting in Dubai for the UN COP28 summit. U.S. Vice President Kamala Harris says it has now become a fight against those opposed to climate action. Around the world, there are those who seek to slow or stop our progress. Leaders who deny climate science, delay climate action, and spread misinformation. Corporations that greenwash climate inaction and lobby for billions of dollars in fossil fuel subsidies. In the face of their resistance, and in the context of this moment, we must do more. Harris also announced the U.S. is pledging $3 billion to the Green Climate Fund. The international fund is dedicated to supporting climate action in developing countries. And the Biden administration outlined plans today to reduce U.S. methane emissions. It's part of a 150-country pledge to slash methane emissions by roughly a third by 2030. The CBC's Susan Ormiston is in Dubai with more on the progress being made. One of the recommendations that came out today had to do with nuclear power. You know, there is a lot of talk here about what sources of energy we need to use in order to transition away from fossil fuels. And nuclear had its moment in the sun today. 22 countries saying that, yes, we should move towards tripling the amount of nuclear energy used in the world in order to transition away from fossil fuels. Canada is one of the countries that joined that list of over 20. And Emmanuel Macron, the president of France, his country relies heavily on nu nuclear. He's been pushing for this, saying that it is safe and possible even for developing countries to go nuclear if they get the funding to do it. Here's Macron. This commitment and the goal of tripling nuclear capacity by 2050 we are endorsing today sends an extremely powerful signal to the world. Nuclear energy is back and it is an indispensable solution to the fight against climate change. So what these things are, are recommendations. They try to get momentum here at the conference for other countries to sign on. That's kind of how the process works. And we are seeing that certainly with renewable energy. A lot of discussion here about tripling renewable energies by 2030. More than 110 countries have signed on to that, including Canada. I'd say that's the number one uh, recommendation, declaration that's coming out of the conference early in its uh, schedule. The CBC Susan Ormiston at the COP28 Climate Conference in Dubai.